guess who came with the news of his death? You guessed it? Jonadab, the advisor. Yes, he was the one that advised Amnon to do wrong. And he was the first person to go to the king to tell him exactly what had happened to Amnon. <laughs> what a friend. Hi guys, this is Dr. Molola, Miriam Moshebi, and I'm really excited to share with you in another episode of the Beautiful Branch Life series. In this episode, I would like to talk about taking advice. You're welcome to this channel, and I hope that you have a splendid time watching videos on this channel. In this particular episode, I would like to make reference to a prince in the Bible. His name was Hamnon. He was son to King David. It so happened that he was obsessed with his sister, Tamar, his half-sister really. And he was in love with her. He wanted to do everything to just be with her. Because of his uncontrolled desire for his sister, he was downcast. And he came his friend, who was also his cousin, Jonadab. Now, Jonadab found Amnon downcast. I guess he must have been thinking, yo, the son of a king, what could be bothering you so much? Of course, because he was friends with the prince, the prince opened up to him. He told him about his desire for his sister. It was a private battle. Who could even have thought that he would be able to open his mouth to share something as despicable as that? Well, Jonadab, the chief advisor, gave him tricks, gave him tips about how to get Tama into his bed. He shared with him every single step he needed to take to get Tama down. Can you imagine what kind of friend was he? But of course, Abnon was overtaken by his desire. He could not control what was going on inside of him. Of course, we have desires sometimes, but the fact that we have desires does not mean that we should act on it or that we should embrace such desires. Well, Abnon, he dwelt on his desire and he followed the advice of Jonadab. Now, Jonadab had advised him to pretend that he was sick. Then when the king came to visit, he should request that his sister Tamar should be the one to prepare him a meal. Of course, he didn't even think twice. I would have expected that for a prince, he should be intelligent, but obviously he was not because he didn't even think nothing was recorded about him considering whether the advice was good or not. He just took it hook, line, and sinker, and he went for it. He set Tama up, and he raped her. Now, Absalom, the sister of Tama, got to know about what Amnon had done to his sister, and he was enraged. He was hungry. Well, he did something quite interesting. He refused to take revenge. He just allowed everything slide. You would have thought that maybe he was trying to be a godly fellow by not trying to take revenge, but that was not the case. He waited two good years, two years. And that was when he served Amnon the hot plates of revenge that he was preparing for him over the years. Now, this is where I am really going to. Absalom got Amnon killed, and guess who came with the news of his death to King David? You guessed it, Jonadab, the advisor. Yes, he was the one that advised Amnon to do wrong, and he was the first person to go to the king to tell him exactly what had happened to Hamnon. He was the one with the situation report. Hmm. What a friend. You know, some humans can just be so wicked and I'm not surprised. 
The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? There are certain so-called friends, people in your circle, that they are there waiting for your downfall. And they will be the first set of people to carry the news all over the place. You see, this category of people, they are very good with pushing you. But you know what? They won't push you up the hill where it will be difficult for you to fall. They will push you down the hill so that you have a very free fall and they will be there waiting to mock you. And that is why it is important that you are discerning. I believe that God decided to give each person a brain so that you can think. Yes, if you have somebody giving you an advice, no matter how respectable that person is, no matter how close that person is to you, no matter how intelligent you feel that person is, still take a pause. Consider that advice. Check and be sure that it is really the step you would like to take. That's why God has given you a brain. It takes somebody with very solid sense of conviction to survive in the midst of peer pressure. You see, peer pressure is real. It can be really forceful. But you decide whether to allow yourself to be trolled down the hill or you take a stand to do the right thing at all times. The summary of this video is that you are responsible for your own decisions. The people that advise you will not be there when the consequences come, if it was the wrong advice. So, follow the wrong advice at your own peril. If you marry the wrong person because somebody advised you to do so, and you took that advice, they won't be there when you're being beaten up, when you're being assaulted, when you're being abused emotionally, financially, physically, and in every other way. So, think twice before you take any advice. I believe that this video will be very helpful, particularly for young people. Of course, older people to face peer pressure. If you found this video helpful, kindly share it with as many people as you can. Feel free to share with me in the comment section your experiences with peer pressure, how you've been able to overcome over the years, and tips that really helped you. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Yes, like this video, share the video, drop a comment, and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching this. God bless you.